Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Adorkable Little Rachel, and it's time for another episode of Muppet Monday! Say, the Muppets did something recently, didn't they? They appeared on a TV show called Drop the Mic. How random. I guess Disney is just doing everything they can to push the Muppets wherever they can these days. But before I could get the chance to watch it, I actually saw some people online commenting on that it's actually really funny. And some people even messaged me saying, hey, why don't you talk about this? So of course, yeah, why not? In fact, let's just go one step further and make this an episode of Richard Reacts! I am going to react to it live. I just figured it might be kind of fun to do that because if it really is funny, I would like to capture my reaction. And then we'll talk about it if there's anything worth talking about. This is actually a really interesting concept. It's basically a show that has celebrities from all different mediums, not just rappers, come together and compete in rap battles. And I never thought I'd see the Muppets, like the Muppets overall rapping, but this is gonna be really interesting and maybe funny. So let's get into it. Let's react to the Muppets on Drop the Mic. Kermit and Pepe, y'all up first. There let's they are. Get it. Oh, I love his, his necklace, seafood. I'm excited to be here competing in Rhine. Now let's all play fair and try to have a good time. <laughs> Hello, Baker. Hello, and Miss Piggy, what's up? If I had Pepe, oh, they're competing against each other. Thumbs up. And also, Miss Piggy, working with you is rough because you're so talented. You show the rest of us up. Well, that's my first choice. <laughs> Was it worth the wait? I'll be listening over here. I'm sure you'll both be great. <laughs> Joshua, yes. Let's show him how it's done. All right. <laughs> You even trying to compete? We're on Drop the Mic, not Sesame Street. You used to be a star, you were lazy being green. But now you're just a tea sip and glorified meme. And Pepe looks hot, so I'm oh, all gonna burn. Burn. You're shrimp for heaven's sake, you should have thicker Ooh. skin. And when I serve you, it won't be breakfast with eggs. My menu has just one item, shrimp and frog legs. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm on board. What is Beaker gonna rap, by the way? Por favor. Miss Piggy be up here. Was there a safety report? I'm really not sure how much weight the stage can support. You think you're so great, <laughs> but you're clearly mistaken. You may be the pig, but we bring home the bacon. Beaker, yeah, I heard that one coming. Name for a cop. A lab explosion's the only way you ever blow up. I won't do this pork chop in our evening attire. Or a number two pencil who looks like his eraser's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beaker. <laughs> Maybe we should just calm it down a little bit. Uh, Miss Piggy, can you lighten the mood just a little what bit, are you please? Kidding? What's wrong with you? Oh, come on, that's it. You know, no, let Baker rap. Why well, you smiling, Pepe? You shouldn't be so happy. I'll saute you, grill you up, and serve the crowd shrimp. Skip it. Uh uh, don't say that to a lady like a worm and a troll doll. Met and had a baby. It's obvious we won. You guys just sound weaker. So now I'm gonna pass it to my homie here, Beaker. <laughs> Uh-huh. They're not gonna tell us who he's saying it, are they? Um, everybody, no, no, this sorry, is very sorry, offensive, uh, okay? Everybody, I, I'm, I'm really sorry that he had to uh, use that kind of language. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> We're never gonna hear it, though. Very offensive. <laughs> You wear too much makeup and your hair is too big. I guess that's why they call it putting lipstick on a pig. And what's so <laughs> your rapping's a joke. What? This is all your fault, Frogs. You're gonna make our team grow. Why would I not? <laughs> He's dissing his own team, team member. You're not supposed to do that to me. You're doing all these little fancy you're not supposed to do that. I mean, come on. Let's, let's, guys, guys, guys. Let's just be calm. Can someone Come on, Kermit, get along? into it. Does anybody know the word to kumbaya? We should all be friends here. I mean, gee golly gosh. The fact we're even fighting is total hogwash. Ah, what? There you go. There you what go. did you say? Hogwash. Hey. He said hogwash. I didn't mean that. What did you I say? This means war. Bring it home, Piggy. Kermit, quit it with this let's go routine. Admit you're jealous of my talent. That's why you're green. And Kermit, how dare you? You're clearly a liar. Plus, your mother and your father were both that. You think you're <laughs> stuck with this ginger who's out here looking like carrot top's finger? I'm too good for this battle, the only one with class. So all of you Muppets can kiss my <laughs> meat. <laughs> 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 I didn't think it might actually hear her say that. 
It's time for me to declare a winner, but first, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from the crowd. Should it be Kermit and Pepe? No. Piggy and Piggy and Beaker. Or is it Miss Piggy and Beaker? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all already know who our winner is. Miss Piggy and Beaker. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That was more enjoyable than I expected. I mean, you saw my reaction. I love the disses from Miss Piggy and from Pepe. I mean, both of those characters right there are some of my favorite Muppets ever. Uh, Pepe especially has always been super spicy with his insults and just his character in general. <laughs> spicy. Nope, 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 no, no pun intended. But Kermit, you so lame. Whatever happened to the Kermit who like freaks out about things like this? <laughs> While all those jokes and disses were unexpected and very surprising, I could kind of see it coming from a mile away what they were going to do with Beaker. He's just like, you know, saying meep 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 and they're like, whoa, whoa, we, you know, don't do that, you can't say that. Also, is anyone even able to understand Beaker besides Honeydew? But you know what? I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, I'm sure that like all of this was planned accordingly and I don't know if that's something that happens on Drop the Mic, if they like come up with these raps beforehand, especially for people who are not professional rappers, but it was still funny and organic and I thought it was great. I also just loved the reactions that the Muppet characters had. But you know what? Good job, Disney. Let's keep on getting the Muppets to do some more stuff like this, you know? Out and doing things we wouldn't expect them to do. It was great. I loved it. That was, um, I think you could have even gone further with it, but you you went at a, in a good direction with it. I mean, back in the Jim Henson days, the Muppets did get to talk about, you know, more, um, inappropriate things here and there, but, well, since they're owned by Disney now and people have too much, you know, pure nostalgia of them, we'll probably never see anything like that again. But this was still pretty close. Also, oh my goodness, how much cooler would it have been if Fozzie and Statler and Waldorf were maybe there going up against each other? That would have been funny. Eh, huh? maybe an idea for another future episode? Eh? Huh? Good job, Muppets! I hope we see more of you soon! So that's my reaction on the Muppets appearing on Drop the Mic, so now I wanna know, what did you guys think? Also let me know, guys, are there any other topics or things you want me to cover on future Muppet Monday episodes? Well, go ahead and leave your comments below. Be sure to like and share. And if you're new like we saw here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also be sure to hit the little bell button down there to get notified when new stuff comes out because I make new videos every week. Bye, Durga Buddies. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.